welcome to the Flystone Podcast. It's your boy Flystone Motive, kicking it with the Stoner Crew. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, sir, man. Oh man, what are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to make sure the live stream is straight. <laughs> y'all can hear me? Y'all can hear me? Yeah, we good. Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all let me know if y'all can hear me out there. I'm talking to the chat. Y'all give me a thumbs up or something. But yeah, man. Another day, another dollar, man. Another episode. <laughs> Back in the building. What episode this is? This is episode, I'm going to lie to you, but this is episode... <laughs> nah, this is like episode 60-something. Wrong. Yeah. No, we in the 70s. 72? Because we just yeah. dropped episode 70 today. 64. 68. I was 64. Close. We dropped episode 70 today. Two episodes behind. 73. Episode 73. All right, all right. You feel me? Hope y'all ate good on Thanksgiving. Yeah, I was just about to say that, like... <laughs> Uh, how was y'all Thanksgiving? I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. What you celebrate? What? What uh, you mean? What you celebrate? I'm a Hebrew. <sighs> uh, you you official? Yeah. Okay. So congratulations. You, nah, I ate you, yesterday. Oh, huh? Man. I ate yesterday. You celebrate? That's what I'm saying. Friday, like, so did so did yesterday. you eat Thanksgiving food? Yesterday, Friday. Oh, so well, you petty. <laughs> you petty as hell. So you didn't eat Thanksgiving on Thursday. You waited a day after the Black Friday to eat Thanksgiving food? Yeah. That is crazy right there. That black Hebrew shit. That is crazy right there. All right. That's what's up. What about you over there? You Thanksgiving was vibing? Shit. I guess for the most part, Thanksgiving always sucked for me, bro, because I don't eat meat. Pause. You feel me? Pescatarian. <laughs> only eat seafood. Oh, yeah. And yeah, people yeah. do not cook seafood on Thanksgiving, bro. People do not cook salmon. Nah. People don't cook fish. Like, so... Well, we cook, we cook fish, Jamaicans. I ain't even gonna lie, we ain't have fish this year. We ain't that, have that's it. what I'm oh, saying. We, we cook Christmas, it though. We Christmas cook it though. though. On not Thanksgiving, Christmas. Christmas. Nah, we cook it on Thanksgiving too. What kind of fish? Like excavation or some shit. You like can fry that. fry some snapper. Yeah, Everywhere I go, snapper. nobody cook fish. Like I eat straight sides. I eat rice, yams, mac and cheese. Well, what, what? what kind of Thanksgiving that was? That's been my Thanksgiving for the last four or five years. And, Barely anybody go make a vegan option for me. You feel me? So it just, hey, I got to deal with what I got to deal with, bro. Well, you could have came by the vegan place. I already vegan know. House. You feel me? I be about to, but I had to go way down you south to my people's crib. Yeah, there. yeah. But yeah, man, we got uh, Moolah in the building. You feel me? Yo, yo, yo. Got Kojak in the building. You know what it is. It's very special guest in the building. <laughs> how What's we going to introduce you? What, what, what we could call you? My name. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> How we could find you? Um, my name is Karina Clark. <laughs> Karina Clark. Karina Clark. I am a uh, realtor, um, and I am the team leader of K Clark Group. Um, my socials: Instagram, just K C J U S T, the letter K and C, and yeah, it's, it's different for y'all. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, that's different. <laughs> yeah, now I say we we ain't never have like, you feel me? No realtors on here. Exactly. <laughs> so we got yeah, we got yeah, a couple questions. Energy, a little, little different energy. Hopefully, hopefully we ain't got no dumb questions, but we got a lot of questions. There's for no you. dumb questions. All right, cool, All right. cool, cool. So like for the first five ten minutes, we do our due diligence of being fake journalists because we don't know what the fuck be going on for real. No. But we act like real journalists. So I'm a journalist. So we're gonna ask, what made you get into real estate? <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny, um, to be honest, before real estate, I was a teacher, and okay. I did music. Okay. So, um, like I loved- Rap or sing? Like I, I, I sing. Okay. Um, performer. It's okay. very much Rihanna meets Beyonce. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so, it's very different now, what I'm seeing, but, you know. So, my thing okay. was, I really wanted to, um, to be able to manage my time. I loved my kids, but it just wasn't, I wasn't happy waking up every morning. You know, it was like, okay, this, I felt like it was a job. I didn't see myself retiring, doing what I was doing. And I said, what can I do? It wasn't even about the money for me at that time. It was more so, what can I do to manage my own time? Okay. Where I'll be able to still, you know, really go full force with the music. Because what I was doing, I really wanted to take it to the next level. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, let me, let me, let me do real estate. Long behold, did I know that, um... You know, real estate. <laughs> I, I went into it to manage my time, and yeah, you just fall had a love for it. I fell in love. Yeah, it was very much. But I will say, like, it, it's something where your hustle just has to be there. So 
you know, for, for me when with being into music, I mean, we'll be <laughs> in the studio from 12 hours for 12 hours, go straight to work, don't don't sleep like that. That mindset, that hustle still has to be mm, there, no, no, no. you know, in anything that you do. I was just about to say that's you got to have a hustle in anything. You yeah. can be driving trucks or cutting hair, whatever it is, yeah. you got to have some facts. type of hustle. Yeah, that's facts. So yeah. how long you been doing this for now? <laughs> it's not that long. Uh, three years. Oh, okay. Three, three years. years. Three years. But I'm thankful. Thank by the grace of God, I kind of hit the ground running. Mm. So my story, my first year isn't most people's story, like the success that I saw within it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So what, like normally within the first year, what what kind of success do you normally to see? Like like how how how, well, how how does it grow? Like well, usually um, statistics show that as a realtor, your first year you'd be lucky if you sell one house. Mm -hmm. You know, my first year I was able to sell twelve. Damn. Damn. So, um, oh, yeah, but I'm thankful for. I'm so big on just mentorship. Like. I feel like people look into it. I don't want to split my money or share my money with anybody, but how could you? I went into it brand new. Like, my thing is I'm going to pay the way to make sure that I have a shortcut, learn from someone else's mistakes. So that really pushed me forward, um, mentorship and whatever that you do. Just find somebody that has done it before. and um, Experience. Ex exactly. Experience <laughs> teaches everything. I'm a big firm yeah. believer in that. Yeah, in fact. So yeah. can, you, can you give up the secret to your success? Or you to sell 12 houses? Yeah, yeah. like, oh, are you – Or, or <laughs> like, was that luck? What do you yeah, think that was? Like, your hustle? It was, it like I, I feel like I had a – I knew what I didn't want. Mm. So me knowing what I didn't want, I was able to go hard because I knew what I didn't want. So I knew that um, I truly wanted – I didn't see myself retiring as a teacher. Mm -hmm. I knew that I, I, I wanted more. I knew that I, I'm very, you know, I, I like nice stuff, nice, but, you know. <laughs> big facts, big facts. Don't we all? So, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, in, a, in a world and in an era where it's kind of like, all right, well, let me find, it was like, I got to do it for myself. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I had a son at the time. Um, I have a, a, a baby at the time. Mm -hmm. My son is now four years old. Okay. Um, and it was just like, everything was so brand new. Mm -hmm. And it was, I, I had to get it, you know. So it's just my, my hustle. Whatever you put your mindset to, mindset is big. You know, you have to see it before you arrive to the destination. Hustle, people, hustle. You heard what it, oh, man, <laughs> 12 houses the first year. That's like. Like you say, unlikely to hear of for real. Yeah. Like, yeah that's crazy. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so how long how long were you teaching before you got into so real estate? My story is a little different. So I was I've been working with kids forever since I got out of high school. So since I was eighteen, uh -huh. but like officially teaching um, was about five years. Like where I got my certificate, like teaching teaching yeah, was okay. about five yeah. years. Yeah. You from Miami, like Florida? Um, I grew up in Florida. I'm, I was born in New York, but I can't claim it. I've, I've lived mm. in Florida since I was so eight. You're not a New yeah, York. You ain't got no type of New York. Yeah. yeah. yeah you're, from, you're from the crib. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Where you teaching at? Uh, it was a school in Hollywood, Oak Ridge Elementary. Okay. It was East Hollywood. So those are my babies. Okay. It was more so, um, I feel like within that area is a lot of the kids even never, you know, been to a beach or it's been, to, mm. so it was more so like I had, you know, I, I loved what I did because I got to really, ex you know, show them and be a, a role model in that area for them. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I was so young. So, yeah. That's <laughs> cool. Would you ever get back into teaching? No. Oh, no. <laughs> shit. <laughs> no. Retired. <laughs> what no, grade did you teach? teaching? Um, I did third. I did second. And I started off, like, initially, like, my, was with, within pre-K. Okay. Yeah. So you wouldn't even teach at, like, a higher level, maybe high school, No, college, I subbed. I subbed in high school. They didn't okay. take me serious. Okay, okay. It was okay. like okay. this, yo. Like, what's, like I, I just couldn't, no. Because you're probably the cool <laughs> teacher. Like, yeah. oh, no. Nah, we look the same age. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. about to say, you look like young. Me. They probably like, oh, yeah. <laughs> she ain't for real. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch in her class. Easy. Yo. <laughs> they Skip look young. funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So let me ask you this. So if you could do anything different, like starting over, like, let's say 10 years ago, what would you start over and do? Like, I first, would you minim Would you not rap? Would you not teach? What would you do first? Jump straight into real estate? What would it be? Hmm, that's a really good question. I feel like the life experience that I had kind of led me to why I hustle so hard now. Um, and so, so often, like I hear a lot of my friends and just like people who was rocking with me when I was mm -hmm. singing, mm -hmm. um, damn, I wish you would have had the same hustle, like the same, you know, consistency in, that you have a real estate rap. within music, right, right, right. you know? So I think I would have been more, I, I just wish I would have known the mindset aspect of it more, um, as opposed to 
because I've learned so much. Like, literally, I, I feel like manifestation is real. Mm-hmm. I can manifest firm, whatever firm it is believer. that I want. I'm a firm believer. I feel like my consistency now is on a whole other level. Like, yeah, I wish I was more consistent with it. Consistency is key. It's not even talent these days. You can see it's just who's mo- who you see the most. Oh God, I feel like that about <laughs> our show. We oh, ain't yeah. got we ain't got the best show out here, but we hit it on the money. With we that. consistent with it. You yeah. feel me? We shoot two times a week. Somebody got to hear it. Yeah, right? we make sure we on point, and that's about it, man. Ain't we, too yeah. many um, Miami podcasts shooting two times a week. Yeah, at all. How we dropping like pod, podcasts? You know what I'm saying? Like hmm. on point and two years straight too. So it's just like so, y'all boys catch up if y'all watching, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah. y'all better do three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do something. Oh shit! That's real though. Nah, though, that's that's what's up though. Uh, shit. Where do you see yourself taking uh your business within the next five years? Like, do you plan on taking it out of Florida? You feel me? Probably going maybe out the country doing business internationally. Yeah, that's always the goal. You know, just to more eyes. You know, on your business. Um, but short term, I feel like um. Like I said, my shortcut. I, I'm so thankful for my mentor. Mm. Um, I wouldn't be, I w- wouldn't have been able to be as successful within that first year if it wasn't for her. Okay. So I'm all about giving back. So now I do have my team, and okay. I pour into them. So for me, I would love to, you know, um, just do a mentorship outside of my team. Okay. Um, that's a short term goal of mine, um, and just, you know, pretty much just just pour into others, pour into others, take it, you know, bigger, just build a brand. You know, my face is the brand, but I want it to be where the brand is the brand, yeah. you know. <laughs> can you can you tell us one fun fact that's probably, like, that majority of people wouldn't know, but they should know about uh, real estate? About buying houses or real estate? Just real estate in general? The, the, the Just in side? general, yeah. I would say, let me see. I'll, I'll give two. Okay. So on the real estate, the realtor aspect of it, like, if there's, I feel like everyone watches these shows now. Mm-hmm. They see how much money you make. Like I said, I went into it not knowing how much money you make. Yeah. Right. Um. And it, they they want to be a realtor. Yeah. And like I said, funny joke was on me. I went into real estate because I wanted more time. Like I wanted to manage my schedule. You don't manage your schedule. Damn. You're on every. <laughs> on everybody I'm else schedule. Like I'm on vacation. I'm literally in you know in the car at a restaurant on my computer answering mm-hmm. clients. You don't manage your time. Like mm-hmm. nah, that's not it. Okay. So <laughs> you gotta put what you get out of it. It's not like a, a guarantee. You know, income. It's how hard you work. So mm-hmm. what you get out of it is what you put into it. Um, on that side, um, for people who are kind of hesitant with buying, just trying, you know, or, and it's pretty much steady within not breaking that generational cur- generational curse where you know, you know, they're afraid to buy. Mm. I would say just do it. Like if you don't listen to the noise, silence the noise, yeah, and kind of just you know, write it out, write your goals out, mm. and um, it's it's very attainable. I feel like people just think it's so hard. It's very attainable. It's very attainable. Okay. Um, you hear my voice? Because he just told you he's trying to buy a house. Let me so ask like, you, what's yeah. scaring you? <laughs> what, Fear? Yeah. yeah. Mm. The price. These yeah, shit's the like a million dollars now. Yeah, it's just the price. House is really. damn near a That's million dollars. in Georgia and all that. Yeah, yeah, well, somewhere. It doesn't have to be just on yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. sell all your houses in the I want to stay in down here, though, because mm-hmm. I got... More like family support with my kids, all that. So right, I don't really. But fun fact, even what you can do is um, just invest. Maybe get somewhere that's cheaper Mm -hmm. and be a landlord. I was thinking that. I was thinking that too. Still live here. Talking with my girl about that. So you would suggest that, like, that's as a very lucrative investment. Yeah, I mean, studies show if you name every millionaire, every rapper, every. They gonna name real estate at some point in time. Okay. <laughs> even even with them little TikTok videos when they be like, oh, what do you do? It's nine times ten is gonna be real estate, yeah, private equity or some type of other crazy shit. Like, but real estate is definitely like top three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this: uh, what's what's more important? Well, who who would you rather know? Uh, a rich investor who's mm-hmm. like you feel me into buying a whole bunch of uh, properties, mm-hmm. or a person who's just super well connected. Like who would you rather be friends with? A person who's super well connected because your net work is yeah. your net worth. <laughs> okay. So um, the more, you know, the more people you can connect with, mm-hmm. the more knowledge you can get, relationships you can build, mm-hmm. some more money you can possibly make if you are able to receive and to learn and to, you know, yeah. listen more than mm-hmm. you talk. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, I don't think that one millionaire or billionaire gonna bring. You know, what I'm saying? hey, who knows? Maybe he might. Hey, I want to buy this. I want to buy that. <laughs> and then buy that. Buy it, but versus you network with twenty people and five, you find exactly. five out of them twenty that got billions that know other billions. That shit. That's that's network. You're like mm-hmm. you just learning from them. Your network is your network. Yeah. Who you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, and let's think about it. Like, who are you connected to? Who do you talk to? Think of your top five people. Mm-hmm. That's your net worth. Yeah. Who are you around? Like. You know, before you could be wealthy or rich in the pockets, you have to be rich in mindset, like I said. So who are you around? Are you guys are you guys pouring into each other? Mm-hmm. You know, do you guys connect with each other, have, you know, um, you know, these these talks and conversations and about what to do and how you can grow, like we just argue about dumb shit. Like is water wet? I no, can't. water's not wet. Okay. Yeah. Simple shit. Your football team sucks. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Dolphins suck. I hate cowboys. That'd be no? like regular. Yeah. No regular shit. shit. Like. It's regular. Yeah. <laughs> no. Crazy. All right. So y'all boys got any uh any other questions for her before we go ahead and you know um, I talk about the dumb stuff? Nah, that's pretty much good. We I think that we touched all bases on that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, hold on, one more question. Yeah, I, do. I got, I got one more, and one more thing. <laughs> so, what, what would you tell your twelve-year-old self right now? What would I, that's a good question. What would I tell my twelve-year-old self? Twelve-year-old, twelve years old. Yep. You finna be lit as fuck. <laughs> oh man, I would say it's possible. It's possible. I would say I would tell my twelve-year-old self that it is possible. I feel like back then, my twelve-year-old self, my twelve-year-old self. Was so when I tell you, still now, like that's a therapy. I'll go into the studio just to record and not release it. So you still record to this day? I still record to this day and probably not release it. For me, I love music. That's like my guy right here. He records like like every week. You know? (laughs) He got (laughs) 10 mixtapes on the way. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Nah, I just do it. Therapy. Just ride around. I was like, I need to start selling it. But um, yeah, my my 12 year old self, I'll say it's possible. Mm -hmm. Um, Just work hard, work harder. And. and stay focused on what is it is that you want to do. Silence the distractions. So I feel like at that age, everything around you is just, you know, shiny objects, everything, friends. It just looks good. But stay focused. Stay on track. Yeah. What would you rather have, a Grammy or sell three apartment complexes? That's, that's two different realms now. Like, <laughs> hey, which one would you rather that's have? Not fair. I feel like different times of my life. <laughs> I would right now, which one would right you rather right have? Now, it's apartment buildings all day. Got, like. yeah. <laughs> you, know that, you know that Grammy can have that mailbox money, that residual income. That thing. residual income, I'll sell whatever I have because I have some. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about it then. I don't, I don't got to be. My thing is right now. I don't got to be in the forefront. You yeah. got to know that I did it. But that's the real yeah. estate mindset. Nobody <laughs> wants to be in the forefront. Of real estate, you don't got to know I did it. <laughs> Anybody in real estate like to play the backfield? Like you know, yeah. I, I, don't worry. I, just come holler at me. <laughs> And my last question is, what do you got to tell the people who was waiting on buying the house because they've been waiting on the real estate bubble to pop? The real estate bubble? Yeah. Keep waiting on the sidelines. Mm-hmm. Yesterday's, today's prices is not tomorrow's prices. Like, yeah. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Keep waiting. Do it scared. I would say do it scared. Um mm-hmm. Everybody's time frame is different. I would never say I will. I'm very transparent. I think that's also why I'm so successful because mm-hmm. I'm not going to just look at you as a dollar. I'm going to literally tell you what the truth is, you know, so you may be ready today, but he may not based okay. off of your different, you know, circumstances. Uh-huh. So, but I always say if you are ready, um, you have the credit, you have the money, mm-hmm. you have the, the, the income coming in, um, but you're just scared. Mm-hmm. Don't be scared. You know, like you. The, 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 we the gonna real, talk. We gonna. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> they say. They say. What? Um. Wait. What was the saying? Buy real estate. Wait. Don't buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. wait. Don't wait to buy real estate. You buy put me on. Yeah, don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and, and wait. wait. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I, mean, I get what you're saying. Buy it. You just wait long term with your money. You are gonna see your money. Like it's almost never a, a time. And it's not a car. You drive off the lot. And yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. And it just appreciates it. But if you can do it, don't wait to do it because today's prices is different tomorrow. Like yeah. you know, no, I have that's buyers that's shopping right lying. now, and um, the same house that they could have got last year, mm. you know, is. Fifty thousand dollars more, like a hundred thousand dollars more. So if you can do it, do it. But if you're in a situation where you have to kind of build up your credit, you have to get a better job, then mm-hmm. wait. wait. Get yourself together. But if you can do it, then do it. Don't don't you know, just do it scared. Don't operate from a place of fear. Okay. Okay. All right, last question. Because no! I wanna know. Keep lying. What's the <laughs> most expensive house you sell you sold? The huh. most. 
the the and most. Where, 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 and, where and where? Located? Well, I focus. I focus in more so. Well, I'm all over South Florida. Mm-hmm. So to so be su- surprisingly, I haven't gotten to the million dollar bracket yet. Okay. I've gotten to the nine hundreds, but that's the highest. That's the highest. Um, okay. Shit, that's good. Still. Round up, that's yeah. tough. But round up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we round up yeah. everywhere we go. We round yeah, up. Yeah, that's <laughs> you, you, you hit the millions. Yeah. <laughs> over millions. You know, she sold over oh, millions. over millions. Yes. Oh, yes. Me. Read the bio. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. What well, was yes. located, though? In Miramar. Miramar? Miramar? West Miramar. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That one nah, was West, West Pines. West Pines. But, yeah. Everything but I sell all there. over now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell all over. We would drive to Orlando if we had to. Boca? <laughs> I've been, I've been looking at Boca? Boca. I haven't done Boca. I've done West Palm. Okay. I've done West Palm. I've done Sarasota. I've done Kissimmee. Damn. Um, <laughs> listen, you tell me <laughs> where you no, want to go. So when the people be like, all right, I want to. Okay, so now. Okay, yeah, Myers. we definitely got to talk. Yeah. So they be like, all right, I want to see this. You got to go drive way yeah. over there. Like, okay, I'm going to yeah, show I'm you I'm going to vet you. I'm going to make sure that you are prepared. You are pre-qualified. Okay, I'll set okay, you up okay. with the lender. And a lot of times um, what I hear from buyers, too, is they'll get with a agent and they may not be ready. And it's just like, oh, you're not ready. I'm going to. No, we're going to tell you, okay, you're not ready, but here's why. Here's a roadmap for you. Okay. I'm going to, you know, sit here, okay, well, you got to do this. Take this off your credit. Let me set you up with a credit specialist. Let me let me help you out, you so know. You're very and patient. I, I become, of, of course. Okay. Sometimes it's a person a who buys game. this last year who wasn't ready, they, they now can buy in 2024, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm going to follow up with you. I have a team of agents. We're going to follow up. We're going to be, become your accountability partner. Mm-hmm. And pretty much, hey, remember we said you had to, did you do it yet? Yeah. Did you, did you get your credit specialist? Did you pay for it? I did need you, one of those. You know? An accountability, accountability partner? Accountability Where you partner. find one of them at? <laughs> I need two. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, like your network, your network is your net worth. Right, so right. your people, your surrounding people should be holding you accountable to whatever it is <clears throat> that you want to do. <laughs> hey, don't get me started, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it should be holding you accountable. So that's, that's all in there. You guys should part. be masterminding and... For the Hold most part, they do. For the uh, most part. Facts. Okay. Because I, I feel like a lot of people really are scared of wasting people's time. You feel me? Like, they don't even want to ask you because, like, dang, I ain't got 400000 500000 yeah, to buy. That's, 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 that's a lot of people fear in the back they of don't be honest. I don't even want to be yeah. writing people like, dang, I don't want to waste my time. I want to I want to get a, a business property, but I don't, I don't think I got what it takes. To, you know? Right. You feel me? So... That just really be a lot of people's mindset. But we just got to get out of that as, yeah. a, as a whole. You but you don't know, you don't know. Yeah. It's, and I feel like it's just in life. Like, sometimes you, you probably go to the doctor diagnosing yourself before you get there. Like, oh, you yeah. Think, you know? <laughs> so you just have to get out that all mindset. All Google <clears throat> looking at all types Exactly. Of <laughs> Ask the expert. Messing up your head. Let them tell you, know. Let them tell you what you have boy. to do. Do not go on <laughs> Two Google. minutes on Google. I go to TikTok. <laughs> I had eye cancer one time. <laughs> there you go. I go to TikTok. Not eye cancer. <laughs> I, no, I'm, my eye twitching. I'm like, oh, yeah, you got eye cancer. I'm like, God damn, bro. Can't never get it right. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, man, we finna get into the, you know, the topics. You do want to do the Thanksgiving recap. We already started. So I do want to ask you, uh, how many days can I eat leftovers? Like, what, what's the last day? The leftover limit. You feel me? What's the last day I can eat leftovers? On the way here, I was just telling my best friend. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm over it already. already. I say, I mean, we Saturday. pushing That's it at two three. But two. It depends on the, what I'm eating. I guess. Two? No, I, 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 so, two. So two, no more than three. You pushing it at three. You right there. At that three? point, it's kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm, if I see this plate of food one more time, everything just mixed together. It all yeah. tastes the same at that point. Yeah, yeah. you're right. She ain't lying. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's why I said it depends on what I'm like. Turkey, I can't eat that shit like that. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> after, <laughs> after the first day, that bitch dry. I ain't going to lie. Back in the day. You got to get that good one. Nah, organic. <laughs> Trust me, bro. That honey that's baked ham it. turkey? Or not, that's honey baked ham turkey. That thing go crazy. That, that's that's certified. Man. That's certified. That's shit. That's a sandwich at lunch. That's turkey and eggs Let in the morning. Up, man. Yeah, that's, Get that's that organic, man. <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Non-GMO. Exactly. All day. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's the most uh, the most um, popular dish for Thanksgiving? Turkey? Outside of turkey. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese and yams. Mac and cheese and yams. That's what I'd be with. Yeah. And dressing. Dressing? I don't know. They just had that, that conversation, if you call it dressing or stuffing. So but isn't it two different ones? Dr- no. no. I don't mess with stuffing. That's the same, same thing? thing? They, yeah, they, I mean, they call it the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, people just put the dressing inside the turkey. That might maybe why they call it stuffing. I don't know. I don't mess with stuffing. <laughs> you don't eat stuffing? I, I eat potato stuffing. 
Something like Ireland shit. Potato though. stuffing. Yeah, that shit good. I just tried it again. You you, you from the <laughs> island? Like it. My background is Jamaican. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I might get jumped today. The only Yankee in here. Oh, yeah, okay. I might get jumped today. <laughs> <laughs> we got the only Yankee in here. Damn. So, my next question is, <laughs> which culture got the best Thanksgiving? Because I've been seeing a lot of, you feel me? Oh, so, Jamaica don't celebrate Thanksgiving. They don't. I told you. Y'all do and don't. Paganists. Bro. Jamaica y'all do and don't. Because y'all Americanized Jamaicans, but yeah, you call somebody in Jamaica, they, they it's They're not thing. doing nothing. Yeah. On okay, in Jamaica, but over here, y'all cooking. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's America. Y'all cooking and eating. Yeah. So who 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 y'all think like what house y'all done been through and they throwing Jamaican, down they got the best food? From, I don't eat from people like that. So I was Jamaican. gonna say I, I'm always at my house, so I don't yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> y'all eat. I'm gonna take the yank plate. All right. At least you being honest. I like the baked beans and all. You feel that. me? At least you being really? honest. Jamaicans, we can make that. We can, but we don't. That's not on our dish. That's you true. Right. You beans. right. You right. We're not making that. Yeah. If we Americanize, we'll make it. Because we don't American, even make pies so we made and shit, bro. Like, what you mean? That's also bro, true. We don't make pies. I'm at this man's house. I'm like, bro, y'all ain't got no yesterday. pie. I got a pie from you. <laughs> I had to wait two days later for a pie. We, we full-blown Jamaicans over here. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all have Jamaican doubt, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, come on, bro. Y'all don't be full-blooded Jamaicans, bro. Like Ooh. y'all, y'all make yank food. Nah, he don't make yank. What? <laughs> y'all well, were, we is full-blooded y'all were actually Jamaicans. Born, y'all were. Are y'all like first-generation Jamaicans? Or? First generation. Yeah, all, my mama, my grandma, everybody okay. Jamaican. Okay. So I'm Americanized. That's what I'm saying. That's me. I'm trying to figure out because she said mac and cheese. I know you're not eating Jamaican mac and cheese, so make it make sense. We had this conversation already. I'm ready to argue. Some well, Jamaicans said, make good argue. mac and cheese. You like said, Jamaican. you you're said, right. Well, Real it's, Jamaicans, they not. It's, it's Americanized mac and cheese. But yeah. you said what's the most popular. Yeah. You didn't yeah. say what's the most. You had a. I yeah. said, I said who, got I the never best, to who got the best no, no, culture. I never ate Haitian popular. I never ate oh, yeah. popular. You said mac and cheese? I, I said mac and cheese. She you said mac and cheese. All right. And you said Jamaican background. So you. But you say you make it yang way, right, basically, right? Yeah, but now if yeah. you want to say what's on the plate, like what's on the menu. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we mix it up. I'm first generation. Mm-hmm. My parents, everybody else is is from Jamaica. So, I mean, curry goat we have curry goat. Oh, yeah, curry goat. <laughs> oxtail. We have oxtail. <laughs> yeah. This is wild. This year we had oxtail. We usually have goat soup. We didn't have the goat soup this year. Goat soup? That's what? Yeah, that's that managed water? That's that managed water, yeah. About that? yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else we had? That's a good Thanksgiving. You got that managed water. Oh, I did jerk turkey. Jerk turkey? We had jerk fire. turkey, too. Yeah, we had two turkeys. We had jerk turkey and lemon pepper turkey. Lemon oh, pepper that lemon What? Pepper. I ain't never tried a lemon pepper. See, that's some Yankee <laughs> shit. That, that's what I was about to say. Do. That is that, 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 that sound Americanized. Oh, I don't know, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. But it sound yeah, fire, yeah, though. Yeah, that, that it was really good. Honey so, garlic yeah. turkey. My mother honey garlic turkey? You can miss me with that one. I think the Honey garlic turkey? Fire. Garlic? I should have gave you a plate. Nigga. You said you... And this is what you ate yesterday, because you didn't eat nothing Yeah, yesterday. Okay. Man, I gotta put y'all on, man. I gotta get y'all. You feel me? The greens, the stuffing, the potato salad. You feel me? The, number the side. ham, the I'm turkey. Gonna, I'm gonna take the yank plate on Thanksgiving. So I don't eat ham. The, the don't peas eat pork. of rice. I don't eat pork. What ham? Yeah. Oh, turkey. Turkey, yeah, I turkey, eat turkey. I eat a turkey. So without ham and turkey, what? Oh yeah, yeah. I said chicken, it. oxtail, goat. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Type. But y'all eat y'all make this like every weekend, so that's not really Thanksgiving. <laughs> no. That's what that was confusing me. Like, <laughs> nigga don't make curry goat every. Nah, nah. nigga don't make the, the goat every weekend. At least once a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. we yeah, do, yeah, we can do it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe. We not eating stuffing. Because the nigga do the curry chicken not twice a month. We ain't eating stuffing, mm. turkey, ham. We not eating that all year. You feel me? So that's why we you right. We wait. It's that time. Like we picking out mac. I yam, eat turkey even all that. I only post a bit of mac and cheese. No, we eat mac and cheese on the regular, yeah. but we're not with yam stuffing, turkey, that's ham. We are not eating oxtail, curry goat, and all that in one day. Now you feel me? So that's Thanksgiving. Okay, we're okay, eat okay. It all on one plate. Okay, I feel your that. Chest high. I feel that. that. <laughs> that's I feel shit. that. You feel me? That's real deal plate right there. Okay, I will let that one slide. Put a little piece of excavation on that shit, boy. You're rich. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm so fried because of y'all. <laughs> what? For real. Like, even when we went to brunch, like, I'm I'm eating real ackee and sawfish yeah. on oh, Thanksgiving yeah. brunch. Good and shit. And that thing was busting. I'm shit. like, oh, my. For brunch. I remember when we took on um, Chase in Jamaica. That boy said, but I don't know what this yellow shit that look like eggs. Bro, that, that, that my first time eating it, too. Not eggs. <laughs> yeah, I said, but. <laughs> bro, that was my first I time eating it, so too. Yank, now, anyway. 
What? Damn, what my own? Just, my mama was, made it. Oh, my oh, mama oh, made a phone when we was in Jamaica. Did she have boiled plants? It was boiled. It was. I think she made boiled dumplings. Um, oh, she didn't make no sawfish in it though. Yeah, she put. Yeah, she oh, put oh, sawfish. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. But that literally was my first time. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm over here. I'm, I'm part of the culture. I'm finna just eat whatever, whatever come with it. That shit was so good. It was good, right? I, yes, that shit was good. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit, but damn. So, Haitian or Jamaican? Woo! I never ate Haitian food though, so I'm just I'm, I'm asking my Z's, but I ain't taking the Z plate. I, ain't I never ate a Z plate. Woo! Listen, girl, we just try to. Make I it, eat it, but it. I ain't gonna choose. That it. came out good. Your girlfriend's Haitian? Nah, she we made just, Haitian we spaghetti. Just, we just tried what's it. the What's the difference? Egg. They don't use that much like the sauce. The sauce. They use tomato paste. And they put like sausage in it. I think it, right? they use the epis, but we ain't, we ain't do the epis. We ain't do the egg. egg. And, and, um, and a boiled egg, we, yeah. And Instead egg. of the pork sausage, I use chicken sausage. So hmm. it was good though. Like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But I like my spaghetti like that. Not, I don't like it saucy. Pause. No, saucy. No. <laughs> like, you know, I'd be hella sauce and I don't like I like my shit. Y'all y'all losing the fish race. That's the bitch fish race. What you mean? Haitian Escovich. Kid over Jamaican? Yeah. I ain't gonna nah. Lie. Woo. <laughs> See, I ain't, but, we yeah. went to Jamaica. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't take you to the place. But that's all I, that's all I ate over there. over there. What? I ate that shit two times a day. What you ate the drink? What I, I, I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. You right. Well, that. you had vegetarian. I had, I had curry lobster, too. Because we took you to a vegetarian uh, place. I, I had took, vegetarian, I veggie chunks, <laughs> all that. You feel me? But. Bro, y'all, y'all ever ate like Haitian Escovitz? Nah, no, I can't even judge. I, so I never, I never tried it. Hey, that shit gonna change our life. I had, I forgot. I don't know what it's called. The pickles, the pickles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ain't that like spicy that? cabbage? It's like sauce. It was really good. Mm-hmm. I think that's all I had. And that probably good. They that's the only like thing you had. Probably. I don't know like what I ate it with. I like spice. You never had a grill. Grill is pork. I don't eat pork. Yeah. They got they got like the fried turkey. Fried turkey. And they got uh. What is it called? You Haitian? Okay. okay. So they got uh. What else they got? Like legume. 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 I said it wrong, right? <laughs> I'm fucking it up. Legume. <laughs> All that should be good though. You feel me? But I the rice. Good. I just I never tried it. You. The rice. Rice busting. I give you the yeah. rice. The rice good. Yeah. I love like sauce bar. Chef, Chef Creole. I sauce know they say that ain't real Haitian food. They said they ain't real. Yeah. They rice, it's it's they Americanized. Rice, they rice yeah, good yeah. though. They you put they put fish. seasoned salt on their plantains. That's when I knew it was Americanized. <laughs> I'm like, how y'all got Lawrence on the plantains, bro? Like, that's that's not right. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie though. That fish? Uh. Yeah, I can't, I, I can't judge. I can only speak for yeah, the. Uh, I gotta try either. it. Yeah, I can only speak for the seafood. So, what what do y'all feel like is the best Thanksgiving dessert? Sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Man, you know. I, had, I recently had that. my sister made a sweet potato cheesecake mm. pie. Mm-hmm. It okay, was I ain't really, really a cheesecake fan, I mean, but it, it I'm pretty good. sure it's good. That shit gotta be good. I'm pretty sure. Good. I don't even like cheesecake in this yeah. shit. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, so everybody's I'm pretty sweet good. potato. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, for shit show, number one. This is crazy, Came but re- Jamaicans don't eat sweet potato. I mean, don't make sweet potatoes. So where y'all getting this from? Y'all, y'all, like, y'all. Shit, American, Americanized. The Americanized ones, dude. Come over here. First generation. The Americanized ones, dude. My mom isn't making that, but I said my sister. Okay, okay, <laughs> so. okay, okay. So That's, what's yours? I mean. Peach cobbler? What the fuck? Peach cobbler. They did okay. have peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. Tried, but I'm not peach a cobbler? Well, sweet potato pie just different. That shit yeah. is. I'd be ready. And I, I that's the only thing like I brought over here. Sweet potato pie or pumpkin pie? Sweet potato, bro. Sweet potato. Don't bring no yeah. pumpkin. Yeah. Don't. Why? What's wrong with pumpkin pie? I'm straight off of that. You try pumpkin, pumpkin pie? pie? Ain't bad though. I'm but straight off. Sweet of that. potato. Did you sugar. try? Pu- yeah, Over. I, I, I can I see it in your face. Nah, you you never even tried pumpkin pie. Yeah, he just don't it. sound right. Yeah, it don't. You try pumpkin pie? No. Yeah. See? You want, <laughs> I'm no. good off of that. I tried it. I think good, right? It's straight, but sweet potato over it. Man, so so when it's in season, y'all don't like try pumpkin flake. What you mean? October? Fall? Oh. I guess. It's pump, see, I'm not, pumpkin I'm not that pumpkin spice type of person, no. Yeah, that mm-hmm. ain't. Nah, I feel you. That thing be good. Cool. Y'all sleep. Pumpkin. No. That, I ain't gonna lie. Remember you told me about the, the pumpkin ice cream sandwich when we was at Whole Fire. Foods? Fire. Pumpkin ice cream? Fire. Pumpkin ice cream sandwich. I'm fire. Ice cream sandwich. I don't want it, bro. G shit. Fire. He said, I don't want it, G. <laughs> nah, no, I don't like pumpkin, fire. bro. All right. How you know? <laughs> I tasted it, bro. When? Nah, I know it. You... I know you're t- telling you, it ain't like what it ain't what you think. You talking about pumpkin, pumpkin, like Jamaican like that pumpkin? spice with no, it. It ain't got I that spice. I don't have both of those, like pumpkin 
flavored shit. I don't <laughs> like it, bro. Like, oh, okay. Like, I don't, if you don't I like don't, pumpkin. I don't see the yet. opportunity for you to try pumpkin stuff. Like when you try where? Uh, that's what I'm saying. Probably a long time this ago. man be capping, bro. This man bro, be capping. I know how to catch ago. him. Bro, it's probably a long time ago. Where? I don't eat this shit hella, bro. Where? <laughs> bro, it was something pumpkin flavor. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to long tell y'all, ago, bro. bro. I'm, trying this, to, I'm trying to think of I don't shit that he probably ate that. that's pumpkin. I don't, I eat, I don't eat it, bro. Chat, I, this man be capping. I don't eat pumpkin. That shit nasty. You're not going to eat it in your household. Hell no. Nobody nobody around you make it, so I wonder where you try the pumpkin at. <laughs> that shit nasty. Next topic. <laughs> <sighs> I think I'm out of Thanksgiving topics. Yeah, good. So, I want to start on current events. You Let's feel me? Y'all go, y'all go plead the fifth, but we about to get on to the... Let's do it. Jump no? in. Jump in there. We got a realtor here, man. We, did we talk about DJ Envy? <laughs> ah, I, 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 I like that one. I like that. How do you feel about that, man? What, with all this going on, how See, do you... See, I'm trying to make... Sh- what it was that the his partner was scamming somebody? Yeah, right Caesar. Yeah. So uh, the, allegedly, he was too. He done sold the same well, the property. Claim that he ain't know what's Give going the background. on. Well, basically, uh, what he do is like he getting people to invest in the property, and he tell them like, okay, if you give me let's say like sixty thousand, hundred thousand, I'm gonna give you probably like ten to twenty percent return on your income within a few months, probably like six to twelve months. Mm-hmm. So always on the first investment, he hurry up and try to get you your money back. Boom, boom, boom. So you buy into like, okay, I done made my money back. This guy's legit. Then on the second investment, he going to sell you some bullshit. He going to probably sell you up on an apartment complex or a school. But pause right quick. Is that common? Like they get you with the good one first, and then after that, they start selling you bullshit? Is that no, common? No, I feel thing? like it. It's the ethics is who's, who you're working who you're with. Working like I said, uh, for me, it ain't even about money. It's passion. It's passion over profit. Okay. okay. But yeah, you gotta kind of <laughs> see who you're working with. All right. But what he did was yeah. he he sold the same property to mm-hmm. like eight different people. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like he'll say, "Oh, Not, we finna build this apartment he... complex up." Hey yeah. man, just give me three hundred fifty thousand. This is a good investment. You gonna get a return property. You gonna get six seven hundred thousand. They say. So, he... People yeah. already made that first they one, they so they call fabulous and all. Yeah, yeah, bro, he called a whole bunch of people. <laughs> fabulous said he knew it was a scam. The, the reason DJ, them, Joe Button said he knew it was a scam. Yeah, he knew it was a scam. But the reason DJ Envy is getting he the lied. backlash because he used his platform to help him promote it. And he said he knew nothing about it. Yeah. He said, because <laughs> he, he, he helped invest into it. <laughs> you feel me? He helped invest into it. So what, what do you got to say to people out there who... B- investing blindly. Yeah, that's what I want to say. You got to do your research. Yeah. Do your, do your anything, homework. Do your your homework. I feel estate. like no matter who it is, and I feel like because of Envy's name and he's, you know, so popular, mm-hmm. sometimes you're blindsided by the fame, but business is business. No yeah. matter who you work with, I feel like you have to do your due diligence to make sure that they are legit. Because now every screaming, I ain't know nothing about it. But yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't, <laughs> you said, I got a scam too. <laughs> <laughs> you got I don't know. You feel me? They was giving out. They were doing um, seminars, real estate seminars and stuff like that. Right. Giving out free chains to the top. You feel me? Person who, I don't know, man. It was just crazy. So right. what do you got to tell somebody who's like, I don't know, maybe done inherit a good lump sum of money and was trying to invest in the real estate? What's one thing you could tell them to not get into a situation like that? Do your Homework. due diligence. <laughs> I'm going to scream that from the very top. Like, do your due diligence. Um, make sure you know who you're working with. Mm-hmm. Um, make sure. So, but it's hard, though, because you got DJ Envy. He got this big of a platform. His right. name is big. You not. Then you it's big. not even that. It's the first investment. You start off you small. Make, exactly. Right. So, you done you invested 60000 made You done made 150000 So, how so you like, mm-hmm. damn, this guy's yourself. legit. So mm-hmm. how can you protect yourself when you about to take that big lump sum? Like, you feel me? You probably got a, a million inherited. You're like, okay, I'm finna go all in because I'm scared. I want to make sure this money just keep flipping. Because that's scamming. Like, you're going to get you the first time and then the second, right. time, second time is or like... some Wolf of Wall Street yeah, shit. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, yes. How, how do you yeah. protect yourself from that? That's crazy. I, I say it, a lawyer or a contract. You'll definitely something? have to lawyer, lawyer up for real. Yeah. And, when, and right. real estate, period, like... Not having a lawyer is crazy, especially when you're spending that much money. Right. You know, um, and then see, they some can people dig might, into it a little bit more. People might not know that as far as, like, 
Is this certain lawyers for like real estate investment? Real estate, or? yeah. There's the real estate attorneys um, who can go over your closing attorneys and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Title companies to make sure that you know the property isn't because there's just there's scamming everywhere. There there's something it's kind of getting off topic where I've heard about when you have land, you guys see land all the time for sale. Yeah, and a lot of time people are not monitoring their land. <clears throat> and mm-hmm. I, I do know someone who, who they were literally about to close, and the person who they were paying, they put money in escrow and everything, wasn't even the owner of the land. So you yeah, got to make sure you have. I'm glad to hear that because. <laughs> I, I was, I was real deal with about no, to. No, that happened a lot though. Like yeah. they sell shit that's already like that's already sold. People already own the shit. So yeah. not like not not like tax liens. Like literally, they just land. literally don't you own it. You see land and they don't own it. So that's somebody crazy. come up as they being portrayed as the owner. Um, they it happens with rental scams as well. Um, if you're not going through a realtor at MLS, people are putting up for rent and probably probably been rented out a long time ago. Mm. You're paying them these, you know, these fees because uh-huh. you're just seeing it online. So I would say work with a professional. Okay. Um, do your, your, your research, your, your due diligence, get an attorney, a title company, a legit title company, because you want to make sure that there's no liens or anything and the owner is the owner who they say they are. Mm. Even as a realtor, I have, I've had people who constantly, who they email me because my, my information is public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, hey, I want to purchase, oh, I want you to sell my house. Turns out, okay, well, send me what you need. I don't live in the I don't live in the state. Okay, well, send me. I've had a fake passport sent to me. Damn. I've had um, mm-hmm. someone, you know, poses that they had so much money, and then they get like, oh, write me on WhatsApp. Like scamming is everywhere. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> WhatsApp. Yeah, I've had a, a fake bank right account. There. They wanted to buy a house in Bitcoin. Like it, it the story Damn. goes on. <laughs> The story Buy goes on. Bitcoin, yeah. Yeah. You know that's a flag. Right. Yeah. Big okay. flag on the plane. So people, like, even, all right, if somebody wanted to purchase a property, and let's say it's not a whole bunch of money, let's say the land could be somewhere in the five-figure range, mm-hmm. do you suggest they could do that on their own, or should they always go through a realtor? Always. Always? I mean, if you if you sick, I'm going to use a doctor. Or if you, let's, let, let's use a lawyer. If you... Would you rather a public defense attorney or would you rather get a, a, a legit? I ain't gonna lie. I had a friend of mine who. Uh, <laughs> I had a friend of mine who, 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 who was his own lawyer. He said he could do it. Mm. How'd that turn out? How did it turn out? How did your friend turn out? Shit. <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty man. sure you see him every day. <laughs> <laughs> so he's good. He seem, I know you're talking about he seem good to me. <laughs> oh, my God, bro, bro. All of that shit is just pretty much what you know, bro. You knowledgeable on the fucking shit that's going on. Yeah, what the fuck true. could a lawyer tell you? Oh, shit. I know the same I shit. I mean, like, they do... Well, yeah. If you know the exact same shit, but that's what I'm saying. If, if it, especially it if it's something small, you like if you ain't doing nothing. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, not trying. I'm saying it's something. If it's something small, it's small you feel me? Trial. Yeah, I feel. You. Well, I feel like okay, if that's what you, if 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 it's small in your realm as on the lawyer aspect, uh-huh. okay. Right. I mean, I still wouldn't recommend it. I'm gonna <laughs> pay somebody to do, do what they what they're do supposed what to they do. do. And then right. for me, I just life goes on. Like, just take the just take that off my plate, you know. But as far as like real estate. There's just so many. I spoke to another agent today, and the property fell through. So mm-hmm. I was trying to get my, my buyer in. I'm like, I asked, well, why did the, the property fall, fall through? Mm-hmm. She said because he was representing himself, and he didn't understand the deadlines and the due diligence. Like, when you get under mm-hmm. contract, you have to put escrow in a certain time. Mm-hmm. You have to have your inspection period. So if you don't know what you don't know, okay. you know. I'll so I'll always deadlines. say definitely I feel like a lot of people, I don't know if you guys know about the lawsuit that's going on with, with agents, have you guys heard? Mm. Okay, that's a whole nother story. But <laughs> so, can you give us like a brief? <laughs> yeah, 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 ain't gotta All be right. So much. typically, as when you're selling a house, mm-hmm. let's say for instance you're you're a seller, you you hire me, okay, to sell your house. Typically, agents charge six percent of the purchase price. Uh-huh. All right. So uh, you're hiring my brokerage. You're hiring the brokerage I work for mm-hmm. to pretty much um, find the buyer. Okay. Right. So yeah. you're paying six percent now. If I don't find the buyer on my own, right? Let's say for instance, you're my. I, I'm, I don't find the buyer, but you're another agent. Mm-hmm. You're a buyer's agent. You have the buyer. Okay. I'm agreeing now to split my six percent with him because he brought the buyer three and three. Alley oop, basically. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That but That's now business. sellers pretty much did this, you know, lawsuit saying that they're paying for the seller, the, the their agent and the buyer's agent. Too big, yeah. Exactly. So Absolutely. now there's this huge lawsuit that's going on. No one knows what's going to look like or what, you know, what's going to become of it. 
Um, so petty. So now people are kind of like, okay, shit. well, buyers are going to have to possibly pay out of pocket on top of, what you know, for yeah. their own buyer's agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah. a lot of buyers are going to work for themselves. I would love to see how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So what is going to be the ultimate, like, you don't know? the ultimate. No result. one knows. No this one is one. all new. This is very new. This yeah. is yeah. A- happening as we speak. It's just um, it. Yeah. So, but my thing is, you can't pay for, like, value is value. Yeah. yeah. When you're making such a big purchase, you want to make sure you Secure have some what you, yeah, exactly. Because you could lose so much money mm-hmm. by just trying to do it wing yourself. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, trying to wing it. You hear me over here, like, it's under five. Yeah. But nah, you're right though. You buying a house now, you bought the house, now the whole roof caving in. Now, now what you gonna yeah. do? Like, now it's more money. So you're trying to make shortcuts to save money and you're costing yourself more. That'd be so crazy if somebody buy some land and hey, the person shit, really so don't own it. That happened a lot in Money Jamaica. down the drain. What? People have, people have land, hot. right? And they, yeah. don't, they don't stay on it. People that go over there, like natives, yeah. capture the land. What like, do you mean? What do you mean? Now they're building on it. They, whatever is on it, they're living in it. Like they, they go hard for land in Jamaica. They capture yeah. the land. Get off oh, my yeah. land. So I can't say like get off my land, bro. This pressure now is a whole. Now is a whole. Because I've been over here for like five years. You feel me? I've been o- in the states thinking I got this land over here, but this person I built this this house, got this whole estate right here. It's like a squatter. Yep. Type right. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, yeah. bro. Shit. Yeah. Protect your land, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um, next topic. Next <laughs> topic. Uh, y'all heard about the Megan Thee Stallion and party situation? No. I heard his song. You heard the song? I, I heard the heard song. It. I heard like it's it. good, though. I heard it. I, I you know, I'm I happy it. that he's speaking his truth. <laughs> like, ah. I feel like I you, you didn't hear Megan Thee Stallion song? You didn't hear nah, Cobra? What's going on? Nah, I didn't hear it. So basically, Meg the Stallion dropped. I don't listen to her no more ever since, Tori. <laughs> I mean, that's this our, this our big record, you feel me? Free Tori. Wait, why, why you don't listen to us since Tori? It's Tori Innocent, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Both y'all. <laughs> okay. He's my boy, girl. man. He ain't shoot that girl. Okay. But shit, um, Meg the Stallion put out the Cobra record saying how she was depressed, um, suicidal, how party was, you know, cheating on her in the same bed she sleep with. I even Going together. Yeah, all, yeah, yeah they, they've been going together for a while, you feel yeah. me? But she was saying all this stuff, saying um long as everybody's happy and getting paid off of her, they don't really care about her mental health and stuff like that. So she dropped that record, you feel me? That was the first record she dropped after the whole situation. So you know it's big, you feel me? Mm. Very, very big. I ain't going to lie, it's a fire song, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So after that situation, Party dropped his record, his response. The difference is Meg kind of responded to everything that she had going on. You feel me? Party record was specific, about her. specifically about her. What he said? Said the name everything she did. Yeah. What he said? <laughs> um, how she was been cheating on him. Oh Lord! So the, the, no, I ain't gonna lie. No, 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 no. The members only track was by her. Oh, I don't know. With Drake, chill, bro. I gotta, I gotta listen. I gotta listen to it. But basically, oh, that um, members yeah, only yeah, yeah, track. Yeah. That was by her, gotta be. Oh, he was saying, God, the whole, I, ain't, I ain't even know. The, the whole Tory Lane situation, he finding out all this stuff in real time mm. about uh, Tory Lane's talking to Kelsey, but really talking to Meg the Stallion at the same time. He finding out about that. Uh, the baby, you know how the baby was being Roxy. Oh, yeah, well, you know, Meg the Stallion. Mm-hmm. He finding out He finding out about that in real time. That was true. Mm. Yeah, he found out. He found Jeez, all this in real time. The baby ain't capping out here, bro. Huh? The, the <laughs> baby not capping out here. Mm. She dropped the song on his on her, on his daughter's birthday. Yeah. Damn. She he looked in the eye and said, "Did you you feel me? Was you fuck with these other niggas?" She put on her R.I.P. her dead parents oh. that she that she didn't. Hey, I, I seen a hey, that I don't know what it is with women lying on their dead family members. Like, <laughs> who said that? So, who did it? Bro, who I done been, I done been there, through that. Bro. <laughs> oh, you been through that? <laughs> oh. I was like wow. Oh, bro, your dad's grandma? That's like, crazy. That's crazy. They going, yeah, that's but crazy. You, but yeah, he that's went, he went, he went crazy on the track. Wow. What do you think about it? It was a fire track. I, I like the listen, track. I gotta listen. He to really it. snapped on it, and was, I kind of get where he coming from. Was like, it green though? No. Would you do it? Would I do it? Yeah. If I was labeled a villain and the girl he who spoke his truth. yeah, that's what I'm saying. The yeah. girl who's doing it is like a top artist in the game so everybody's gonna listen to her take her side you feel me and she's you feel me speaking on depression and just got out the Tory Lanez case so everybody's 
kind of feeling sorry for us. So yeah. you feel me? They go take us side right. automatically, not even yeah. know the other half of the story. Yeah, they ain't even gotta know. So he got to speak the truth. Like, yo, I was on your side the whole time. I was getting ready to uh, propose to you. Mm-hmm. Got your lips tatted on me. Damn. And she went out of she went out the country for like two weeks. He didn't hear from her. Oh yeah. At all, not yeah, a phone dead. call, not a That's text message. That's not your girl. He did. Exactly. <laughs> but they was together <laughs> exactly. for three years. Man. He going to war, about to go to war with the baby. About to go to war with Tory Lanez. That is crazy, bro. Bro, women dangerous, like, bro. Going together, all this happened. No, so, this, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You feel me? That's that's the whole situation with that. But the most recent thing i seen on the internet, Meg The Stallion finally responded on live. Oh, I didn't see that. You see that? No, I did not see that. You got to update us. So, she basically said, oh, y'all acting surprised. Oh, um, yeah, I've been rapping about all this stuff for the longest now that... He's saying I'm doing all this stuff. Like, what y'all thought I was a saint? Exactly. Basically, that's <laughs> that's exactly oh, okay. what I she saw said. That yeah. Live, but yeah. she was like, "Oh my gosh, Megan is fucking." Oh yeah, my yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> like, oh no, she ain't played a card like that. Like, it's been out here. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Like, hey, I've been Damn. telling y'all deceiving. Been telling y'all. Got it. Oh, but she man. said now. Hate women like she's that. acting stingy. That's, I ain't gonna lie, that's considered trifling to me. But I saw that she's acting stingy with the cat now. Like, you know what? I seen that video. You feel me? Like, you know what? No more. I'm acting stingy with it. That's mm-hmm. cap. <laughs> so how do y'all feel about that? I, I feel like she probably like it's like a double standard going on, you feel me? Because if it was the opposite, if it was the opposite way, you feel me? A dude ain't being held accountable. He the man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Of course. But if a woman do it, like you just said, that's trifling. So it's trifling because how she made it seem like she wasn't doing that. But if and she was in a relationship with him. She I wasn't? Mean, she was. Yeah. That that makes it even more like... Trifling. Yeah. But that's why I say if it was a dude, he would be glorified. He would be the man. She's messing with the top rappers. You feel me? Top top people in the game. If that was a dude messing with Beyonce, Rihanna, you feel me? In that nature. So name he the a, man. Name a top couple right now. A top couple? Yeah. Beyonce and Jay-Z. Okay, Beyonce Hello. and Jay-Z. I don't want to go. Let's say <laughs> well, like... I'm saying. I ain't want to go there. Why uh, not? Janae Aiko, Big Sean. You want to go there? Uh, I Wait, mean, why they, we can't go to Beyonce and Jay-Z? He, he, he messed up too. They, they, they're at the they're top at the, of the... You feel me? They're at the top of the... They're league. at the top, and she made a whole album about him because he cheated, so we could talk, we could talk about it. Who, Beyonce? Oh. Jay-Z, Lemonade. Let's talk about it. Listen, uh, you right. Uh, yeah. That's, I ain't arguing on oh, you B-fans. part of the Beehive. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't going to win that one. I know I ain't going to win that one. You know it all with that one. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, Jay-Z, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> y'all forgot about the whole Becky with the good hair Like she put it all out there Nah uh, Yeah All that in the elevator yeah. mm-hmm. Fighting <laughs> oh, Fighting with Solange yeah. yeah All that Oh that's what it came Yeah Yeah all that he All that was The thing a... is right They crucified Jay-Z for that They did Yeah They, so they did they, they not gonna crucify nobody else Nah they ain't really they I mean the Beehive much. crucified You know what I'm saying Like Only the Beehive Yeah They yeah. made him Cause everybody else still They fucked this shit up like they we were looking at Salon like, damn, she crazy. Yeah, yeah. that's she where, tripping. That's <laughs> where everybody's like, hey, she, she is she tripping. What, like, what she, she doing all that for? <laughs> nah, if a woman do it, it's definitely a double standard because he, he ain't supposed to be doing all that. Yeah, so how do y'all, how do y'all feel about that? Like, you feel me? Like, what? who right, who wrong? Is, is Meg the Stallion wrong for doing that? Because, like I said, if it was the opposite way. Honestly, I think party wrong. I'm going to tell you why. Why? It's just some shit you just don't do. You just gotta hold it down, bro. She don't ups- say or speak his truth. Yeah, that was, she just I'm upset sorry. about the Jada Kingdom situation. He said that in yeah. the record too. Like, yo, you I'm seen sorry, me with Jada like Kingdom? He, he deserved to it's speak his truth. Here, she been, she, she, she did a whole Gail King whatever interview. Out, she she she's been speaking on his name, and I feel like he had the right to speak his truth. I mean, I don't like, really mess with Like, don't fuck with the rumors. Like, that's just let her talk. Let me, whatever. This is here. Yeah, I'm but when you big like that, that, this nigga hey, never the bigger cl- person. Hey, you I'm trying to clean? He's not man. letting that slide, bro. He's not letting it slide. You're not letting that slide. You're not letting nobody speak on your name, saying you've been doing I know X, him Y, and Z. For sure. Exactly. If what are you, you saying? In party consistent. Clear your name. Bro, Hold up. First guy, off. Bro. Bruh, we didn't say you he was a good guy. That bro, that's why I'm gonna say I'm gonna ignore it, bro. Like, I won't no, you're not. You not. You spraying no, that shit. <laughs> you spraying that shit left or right. I don't like how y'all be painting this picture. <laughs> Listen, right, we didn't say you're not a nice guy. We said you're not gonna be the bigger person in that yeah. situation. You're not just gonna let a person who got number one records and this, this Cobra record hey, might be a number one too? record. 
You feel me? You said the whole world thinking you a green ass nigga. <laughs> you said something. Whole world thinking you green as hell. She said, "Yeah, you was getting head in the same bed I sleep in." No, she said yeah. that on the record. So you just gonna let it die down? Go let that slide. Mm-mm. As a man, how can that hurt me? Because <laughs> the whole world looking you at you saying that now, bro. The whole world looking at you like you green. While I'm going through depression, yeah. while I'm thinking about suicide, while I just got shot. While I'm but going through court cases, you standard, cheating on that's me. That's what she painted. In, my, in our bed. In our bed, <laughs> in the same bed we sleep in. This yeah, is the picture crazy, you're bro. painting to your fans, to the whole world. Yeah. Got to clean his face. Got to clean it. Yeah. And she ain't dropping like a regular record. This is a single. Hmm. This going to be playing in the clubs. Mm-hmm. See, look, the thing about it is, right, he cleaning his face, right? Boom. Yeah. All of that shit she said about him was true. It's more than likely. Is that more, true more than, like, more than likely, it was true for him to respond, right? Yeah, but he's explaining why. Why he's it was true. Tell the whole story. He said, "You're saying all of this, but tell him like the the, the story why. behind Everything it." Led to yeah. it. Like I didn't know you was fucking with Tory Lane. I didn't yeah. know you fucking with the baby. So I didn't know you fucking with Blueface. Much, he pretty much cheated, cheated on her because she cheated on him first. Probably. Basically, yeah. Likely, yeah. Bro, okay. she was fucking with the producer. And he's smiling in his Damn. face. He, he's, he's dabbing up a producer like Dabbing yeah. up the producer coming there. in the That's studio writing fuck. records to the oh, nigga yeah, you song. You trying me now. You trying me yeah. now. Writing yeah. records to the nigga you song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, damn, that. you yeah, got yeah. me out here looking crazy. Yeah, I think what people, were saying, though, oh, no. what people were saying, though, he, she only mentioned his name and then spoke about everybody else. People mm. were saying that he made a whole entire song about her. So they were saying that's where he was wrong. But I'm all for clearing your name. Clear your Tori name. made a whole album. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Clear your name. That ain't work though. Yeah, I'll just finna <laughs> say, look, look, how, look how that it showed up for him. <laughs> I, I feel like it's lose lose, bro. Sometimes you feel me? Like the the men go understand it, but I feel like even still, like a lot of women gonna be like, like you said, damn, you made the whole song about her. She she put you in this one little couple bar. You made a whole song about her. You airing out her business. You said, oh. <laughs> Man said, "Oh, you, you, uh, you went and got light pole to start posting gym pictures. Yeah, he did. Like that boy <laughs> went hard, bro. Straight three minutes, like, going. Oh, really and shit. he's a songwriter too. Gotta, so like, he really went it. crazy on it, bro. Okay, I gotta listen to that. I mean, I guess he he, he got a point. So you you dropping that record? I don't know if I'm gonna do it like that. Yeah, he dropping it, bro. That's kind of like worldwide now. Like, you don't put everybody in your business. That nigga now. dropping it." She already I don't did. Know. I ain't no fucking in, rumors, bro. I ain't addressing too. no rumors, bro. I ain't gonna. I'm not addressing rumors. Y'all dropping the record? Right. I'm dropping the record. You're dropping the record. All part. y'all make music, so I'm gonna assume. I'm, I know y'all. Nah, gonna you drop know I'm low key. I ain't gonna drop it. Oh wow. So I, listen, listen. But he dropping it. Number <laughs> a, a, a Billboard chart record about you. Do your thing. Looking green. Get, get your money you know right I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do some Jay Z shit, subliminal type vibe. Okay, all right. I, okay, I feel that. Big you're not, you're not gonna drop a whole song yeah, about her. Be big, big on the. Oh yeah, the whole 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 verse. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. The whole I'm gonna verse. piece it up right. Okay, Just like Jay Z and Drake do it. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. Okay, next topic. Um, shit, I, ain't, I only got one controversial topic for y'all. You feel jump me? Into Hit it. me. All right, before you get there, let me ask you a question. It's for a lady. I've been asking, waiting to ask this question for the longest. So the question go, uh, how do you know when you're taking dating seriously? How do you know when you're taking yeah, dating like, seriously? Yeah, like when you're dating, how do you know when it's getting serious? That's a good question. I think communication. Uh, that's kind of like, like, cliche. I need a better answer uh-huh. to that. <laughs> so you wanted them, what are we? What we doing? I, f- I feel like I'm too old to even be asking <laughs> what are we doing. I feel like for me, I'm in the stage now where it's you. You show me with your actions. That don't, you show that don't me work. With your actions. What you mean that don't work? I, I'm Why trying not? to. I'm trying to. Uh, go ahead. Explain. He. Uh, I don't. I don't want to put my dog explain. out there. But he. <laughs> listen. Huh, dog, lover boy. You Bro, what me? Does so, I gotta do anything? I'm just uh, for, one. Y'all gotta be on the same. From the beginning, you have to be on the same page. Mm-hmm. I feel like in relationships, there's always one person I love a little bit harder. Right, definitely, it's always one. definitely, definitely. And I feel like if it's the woman, I feel like it should be the man because it kind of equals out because women's love is just they just nurture too emotional, so, yeah. too emotional. Yeah. so it yeah. should be, you know. And I feel like you guys should kind of know. We should know what we are. We should know. We should already be having conversations about the future, the, future. the goals, the, the the values. Do we share the same? Those conversations should be ha- had in the beginning. That happens early, for real. Yeah, so I mean, I, I feel like the older you get, yeah, the age you have. Conversation. Yeah. You see, we on the phone for two hours. It's like uh, thirty-one. 
about the same age. I'm 33. So I feel like we we not at the. I'm 33. That's wild. (laughs) (laughs) I I thought you was younger than than that. I like that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so I feel like we're at that age. So so how early in the dating stage y'all talk about stuff like that? Because. I, I mean, know, you know people. It's, people. It's, first, what's it, your values? The first offer it. Right. It's conversation. Well, I'm not wasting like, my I'll time. I talk about that shit the second day for, for like the second day. What's yeah. your values? Yeah. What's your values? Bro, that text first day. No, I'm, I'm gonna be on the phone with it. Like I'm talking about <laughs> oh, it. Like, what's you, what do you see yourself? What do you want out of life? What do you see? Like we gotta. Okay, gotta, I, that's cool. But I'm saying, as far as like being serious, I'm like all right, we done went on five dates. Like, what are we doing? Like, when do y'all start talking about stuff like that? Like, okay. Are you coming over for Thanksgiving? Like that's that's well, that's the hints or something. Like that's a conv- I feel like we grown. As you said, it's cliche, but it's <laughs> communication at the same time. If the actions, if you have to ask, then y'all are really not a thing. That's real now. You're right. Like <laughs> I, I, listen, I, 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 real now. I, 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 I ain't gonna real. throw nobody under the bus, but bro, it's people out here that have the time of their life. Make you treat like you the only person in the world, but they but just enjoy life. But deep down, that's you true know. too. That's deep true. Down, too. Deep down, you, you my favorite know. person, but I'm not ready for a real relationship. And you know that. I've been in situations where I know here. Like, I know. But what if, I shouldn't what if, have to ask you. Okay. You're right. I, I'm not, okay. I, don't, I shouldn't have ah, to ask you. That's me. tough. So how you know when yeah, you're ready? Yeah, that's tough. How you know when it's that point where, like, all right, we that's, ready. That's tough. That's why I said that's I, tough. I, who, who makes I, the decision? I, I feel Because if you, if you give a nigga that window, like, oh, if she ain't putting nothing on it. We not taking we that. Not, we not, yeah, taking we that not, we having a ball. We're going to hang out. I probably I ain't lying to you, bro. We that's how it. that's how niggas think, bro. Out here. We're, we're not <laughs> locking that lock. We're that's not how locking niggas that niggas think. Lock. If you ain't mentioning nothing about being mention- for real, it's, we finna that's hang out. That's how y'all think. Mm. See, for me, I, they, I feel like I'm having fun with it too. Then call call it what you want because I feel like from the rip, I should know, and I've been in this situation where from you should appreciate me from the beginning. You should know that you want to be with me from the beginning. It shouldn't have to take me pouring and asking you what's what. And at that time, if you ain't saying nothing, well, hell, I ain't saying nothing. But let somebody else come along. Don't be mad. I was just going to say that. So, <laughs> like, so do you exclusively date off the rip? No. Like, this is I tough. Like this is I getting like tough. This is getting hey, tough, like bro. This is getting tough. I like that question. This is getting tough now. So how do I supposed to know to take you seriously? You're not exclusively dating me. Mm. Well, that's a conversation. You should be telling me. Girl, I'm the only one? You should be telling me. Get rid of the mother niggas. That's you, it should be a conversation. It should be, a, first of all, off rip, it should be what do you want? Where do you see yourselves? What do you want out of life? Do you want to get married? Do you not want to get, off of that, you should kind of already know where you're, yeah. where you're heading. Where they head right? Like. But if it's five dates, and trust me, I've been there five dates, six dates down the road, it's kind of like, okay, I know what's up. But let somebody else come along, don't be mad because you not, you don't really want me that bad. You only want me now because you see me with somebody else. But yeah. So know. what if you want? Me, <laughs> yeah. what that if is you true. Want me more than I want you, and it's like, damn, then I want to be with this nigga, but like, he ain't ready for me. What should I do? Should I stay and wait for him, or should I just do my own thing? Do your own thing. What if What if I want do your you, own thing, ladies? But I just got out do of a relationship, and I'm just I'm just hurt. I'm that's just a conversation. Torn. You should be having that conversation. Yeah. So you understandable yeah. like that. Like, yeah, I'm very under- Okay, yeah. that's fair. All right, yeah. that's fair. But if you don't say anything about, we, I won't know, and I'm just gonna be. Don't let a woman just think. Cause she she'll make a whole scenario oh, up in her mind. Yeah. Like it needs to be said. If that's a the case, then now we can understand. Show. But. I don't have one. A whole. One. So so what's the longest you'll get them? Like okay, you, all right, nigga, you done have six months to heal. <laughs> it's over now. So what what's your what's your limit? Six months is a it's a long time. That's, that's, a, long, that's, that's a long time. time. That ain't a long that time. Day rule. That six days. months a long time. Six, six months, months ain't a long time. Cause <laughs> I feel like you can date somebody in a month and know that they're the one. For sure, I want to marry this person. I, I can know a week. If it's six months and you still confused, I ain't the one. Like, <laughs> if I just got out of eight year relationship, I can then know heal, and you should be by yourself. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, yeah, yeah. But I want to heal. Years? I want to heal with you. I'm, I see that I'm not your. Th- I'm, I'm not your therapist, <laughs> but and I feel I, I already have one child. That's you, the problem. You got it. Know? Yeah, you got it going on. You perfect. You got the career going. No, no, no. You look like the one t- mm-hmm. for me. But I'm trying to heal. I just I got had, out of eight year relationship. Goes to, this goes back to this goes back to music. I had, and I'm that person who I write songs about, right? So I had a, a, a EP. It was called. It was tainted. It was pretty much about falling in love with people's potential. Okay. I'm past that. I can't. Big. I, I'm tired up. of seeing the potential in you. I'm tired of. You got to already come ready. Like, I'm tired of raising a man. Like, mm-hmm. I, I can't. Now, I see, okay, well, you could be great. You're hurt. Who, who I'm going to be there song. for you. But, can't yeah. raise a man. K. Michelle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about that? 
Chill out, bro. <laughs> music, yeah, nigga. Yeah, but I don't know why are you listening to that. It's funny because so we're green. <laughs> so I'm a music. When, when we do five second rule, that boy be too drunk to even think of, <laughs> think of a song or some shit. <laughs> I ain't on the weed right now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Spin me out. I ain't gonna get too deep in it. You got the answer accident. though. Yeah, I, I, I really got no I ain't know no weed right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was something, it was just with that, but I forgot what it was. All with right. the, the, the scenario? Yeah, I just forgot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let me ask this last controversial topic before we get out of here, you feel me? It's not relationship-wise, it's basically general-wise that everybody, not everybody can relate to, but somewhat people could relate to. So, okay, you living with your cousin or close friend, y'all living together, right? Mm-hmm. And y'all going half on the rent. But they no longer could afford to pay it due to hard times. How many months do you get them until you be like, "All right, it's time for you to, mm. time for you to get up out of here, man." Like uh, you've been staying here for six months, you've been staying here for a year, you've been staying here for two years. If I see him trying, it's like, "All right, I know my dog trying to get it." If I got it to do it, I'm yeah. going to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same like, way. If I see I you trying, it's like, "All right, at least you're trying to get a job. At least you're trying to get I some agree. money." Bet. Yeah, but I don't but see if you, you ain't, doing if shit. You just, if I come over here, call you, and you sleep in the bed, and you just not doing shit. That's cool, then. Yeah, I'm sleeping. Oh, Damn. my boy, you ain't worried, yeah. Come the first, my bro. If you ain't got this bread, bro, I'm finna do something with Okay, you so how, how many months without trying? Without trying, you got about two months, bro. Two months? I'm that's, nice. That's, I'm nice. That ain't nice. That's pretty two close. Two months nice? What? How long you want to be doing this? I mean, if they ain't got no, if they ain't got no that motion going on, it's hard time. Bro, that's me done paid two months of rent extra. You extra. better be looking for work the whole what month. Do you, what do you mean? They can't find work. It's hard time. People can't just get up and ain't get a that good hard, paying job. Boy, make, girl, find it. Find it. Make a way. It ain't that hard. Content creator. Hey. <laughs> you Show me that you're doing something. You like. do something. Exactly. Show me something, bro. Like, what it ain't got to be something you making Damn. money off of, but yeah. something. So we too, are we too oh, old y'all say that. two months? We too old for you to You say two months, too? Y'all said that he's he's mean for two months. <laughs> yeah. Two months is too long. That's too Damn. Long. I, feel like. I feel like if if it's, I'm nah, totally with, though. if you have, if you're trying and I see and I have it all day. Okay. But at the same time. What you doing for two months? That's two months where you could have been trying to make money. Like, like you should man. offer it. Look, I got okay, but I'm trying to Here get a job. Here go five hundred. Like you, you doing something? You need give to be some trying. Money. All right. If they are trying, mm-hmm. is there a limit? Is there a limit? Yeah, bro. How many? Like, how many months is y'all limit? If they are trying, they are trying. It just they just having the worst luck. Times hard. They can't get it right. Every time they bought the, you feel me? Get that big See, break. Now, something now, happens. Now I'm gonna try to put you on. Like, all right. Yeah. Do this now. Do this. It's a conversation. What are you doing? <laughs> do this. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something. Uh, I'm going to help you out. They finally got a job, got that check. Car broke down. Mm. Uh, you feel me? Can't get to work. Mm. License suspended. I'm nice. So if how, I see you trying. How, how many months? That's what I'm saying. I need a number. I'm going to go with the two months, man. Damn, if they train. Oh, if they're trying three months, three months. What the Extra. fuck? <laughs> Three Too months, much, bro. Yeah. I might well not try. I'm getting only an extra yeah, month. Take your ass on. Go. <laughs> exactly. Go on. That's go, tough, go bro. I can't put months on it. See, for me, I'm going to be like, okay, well, let me connect you. I'm a big, like, let That's me connect you I'm with I'm this person. I'm going to put you down. I'm like, oh, to... boom, boom, boom. Let me, let me do this right quick. Yeah, uh, and I feel like you turning that shit and down. And if you turn oh, it yeah, down, are you, blowing, yeah. are you blowing the bread? Yeah. That shit dead. You, the first coming, you can't give me no money, and I know you got bread, and I put you on? Oh, yeah, bro. You got to get up out of here, bro. So three months. Yes. You say three months? Two. Damn. Two, I'm with him. Damn. Nah, nah, they, trying. Yeah, two. Trying. Trying. Sheesh. What you say? I say like. Because you nice as fuck. Yeah, I'm nice as fuck. I say like. Cause I am too. I but said like five, six two months. Two nine bro. days. But you said it's my cousin or some shit, right? Yeah, your cousin, your very I close fuck with friend. My cousin, bro. Like my cousin. Your yeah, cousin, yeah, your cousin, very cousin, close friend. Not bro, yeah. That's you it. Cousin, my cousin. Your childhood friend. Yeah, that's my childhood it. cousin. Like, if it's like, my your cousin, cousin or your bro, childhood friend, I'm gonna give him. A year, probably a year. Yeah, that's fair. You feel me? Like I don't see people do a year. I give him a year. My cousin could rock out with me. Yeah, yeah, that's my blood. If I got it too, y'all saying three months. Y'all tough as hell. If I got it too, yeah, he. But if it's like my dog, if it's somebody close to you, I ain't gonna lie, my dog, bro. You gotta get yourself together, bro. Yeah, (laughs) but your dog is like your cousin. Nah, bro, because if you my dog, ah. Nah. Femi, you and your dog done been through the thick and nah, thin. You ain't my cousin. Sometimes your friends are, are closer than that's your, your family. Right, sometimes. Right, that's good. But my cousin, it's like, <laughs> I know your mama, bro. Like, Damn. That, you your know mama. your friend mama, nigga. Y'all done, you done ate at her house plenty of times, nigga. You uh-huh. done spent the nights over there, nigga. Y'all done grew up together. 
So what are you saying? Yeah, but, that's my but you blood. got a whole right. Like I said, some friends you see friends sometimes more than your family like, members. We blood, brother. We whole, come from the mud. They got a whole family. But that's what I'm saying. In that <laughs> well, same situation, your cousin he might not got nowhere else to go. But sometimes holding on to people too, you're doing a lot more damage. Yeah, you are. So that is true. That, that, that's to, true. You gotta have to true. determine. It's a case by case of who it's, you dealing with, yeah. what yeah. close yeah. person you dealing with. Very subjective. You gotta. Sometimes you holding on and helping them is you. Sometimes people gotta fall on their face to really get back up and grind again. It's tough. Facts. Love. Experience is <laughs> real now. Everything. That's real now. Yeah. That experience teaches everything. So you yeah you switched a year year. What you say? I said a year. Okay, yeah. It year. gotta be my cousin though. It has oh, my somebody brother. close who with ambition. That's a yeah, huge cousin. Chance. I don't know when. My brother. I ain't gonna lie. He he could vibe. Right. How long? Even cousin. Cause cause my cousin. Me and my cousin. Man, my cousin Never. Like this. Nah. Never. Nah. He gotta be on drugs and like fucking up the bread. Oh shit! He gotta be fucking up the bread and be on like fuck, like fucked up, like. So three years. My brother, not. I'm not kicking him out. No job. I'm not kicking my brother out. Not trying at all. (sighs) Playing video games. No, no, no. While you working, you tired. Come home tired and. He just see that be the thing. Yeah, I <laughs> you fucked it up with that. When you come home food. and you see a nigga just sitting down, it's like, yo, what the fuck? I just got home. I'm making bread. And you home sitting house down. dirty. Oh yeah, see, bro, you gotta go. You gotta go to go go back home or something. Go to mommy house. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, that's crazy. See, yeah, I, uh, I guess I am nice. I don't know. One more question. All right, it's for a woman. I got a lot of women questions and we don't have no women guests. That's why it's all this shit <laughs> packed up like this. Do women tend to shoot their shot on somebody who they like? <laughs> it depends on the woman. My best friend is here. She would never. She me would. all day. <laughs> <laughs> you are so, hen- like, I will, I, but that's me. I'm a realtor. Like, I got to talk to people. Yeah. Okay. I will. And it's so funny, like, a lot of people will never talk to me. Like, you said, you didn't even think I was going to DM you. Right. Back. Like, right, right. You I, seem pretty, like, professional, and you got, like, a look to you, like, like kind of aggressive. Like. Everybody says that. <laughs> so people are intimidated? Very right? much so. But I be challenged by that type of shit, though. That's why Very I wrote it. So. But, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you shooting your shot makes them even more intimidated. Make them. I'm going to tell them they're going to know. It would, it would. <laughs> but, like, what is your, like, go-to pickup line? I would tell them, for me, in the moment, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to compliment you if something, like, like I could have easily said, damn, why you even tell me that we was wearing our Supreme Mall forces? Like, Ooh. I could have worn <laughs> like, Okay, okay. Nah, I know you're watching me. Good, <laughs> good, one. <laughs> good one. So, do you ever, did you ever shoot your shot on somebody who you know, like, okay, he's a level under me, but... Hmm. Bet. Okay, that means, she, <laughs> that means she ain't doing 50 50. <laughs> okay, and that's a different, that's a whole nother topic. Ooh, 50/50. Yeah, you ain't finna, you ain't finna get me this time, bro. <laughs> you ain't finna bash us this time, bro. No, uh, all right, man, what we doing? <laughs> you wanna I want to, I want to act so bad, but no, all right, y'all got bashed right, last time. So, look, what you, you, we you get doing, bashed all the are time. Are you gonna do 50 50 with your partner? This is Why? once again different. This is once again. This is very different. And we bring, I'm very. We bringing up this 50 50 topic again for all my 50 50 heads. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I, seen, I seen Shannon Sharp and Chad do it. I'm bringing it back up again. God they be damn. hating us. Listen. Yeah, they they mean on Twitter. They they what like was a, your take? 50 they say, can game? we hear us? I don't do 50 50. Else? I'll probably do majority. You feel me? That's okay. my take. You feel me? You seem like a pretty if, especially young if I got man. It. You, got, you got your shit going on. You attractive. You could find a dude who do you like. Would you go 50-50 with your with your spouse? It all depends. What, it if he makes more than you? Or if, if he makes, makes more, more of me more than me, then he should be covering so the majority. You're not doing 50/50. The majority. But I'm very fair. If I'm very different. I'm not like this generation, and I'll say that. First of all, I'm very, and I, I blame it on my mother all the time. She raised three girls, single mom by herself. So for me, I'm not the... I hate to say, I'm not the city girl type of, mm-hmm. I got my own shit. I don't need you. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. I'm not asking for nothing. You you know, so for me, it's very hard for me to even ask for anything. But I'm also, I don't know if it's my sign, I blame it on me being a Libra. So oh, I'm very, I was just about to ask you, son. It's like, you I'm very oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, once again, I fall in love with people's potential. But for me now, um, you ain't asking for nothing. You're like, not, fuck, I'll do it myself. I'm not, but I, I feel like if, in a relationship, it should be where if something happens within the relationship, we're partners. Mm-hmm. We should be building together. Yeah. I should be. You should be able to depend on me if something happens. Right, yeah. right, right, right. But Definitely. at the same time, if you're making more money, the ideal situation, if you're making more money, you're taking care of home. 
That, that what I was going to say. It. So, as, all right. As, as a man. As a man. Right, you right. Take but if I'm paying majority of the bills, you take care of the, the house, though. You doing the cooking, cleaning. Right? Yeah, but if we 50-50, everything is 50-50. The dishes, yeah. the cooking, the like everything, everything is 50-50. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> if we 50-50. If we 50-50. That's why I ain't if doing 50-50. That's why I ain't doing 50-50. Damn. I'll be The damn. responsibility is split 50-50. <laughs> but if you're making more money, you should definitely be. But then if it's where, you know, that there's 15, situations 20%, where. You're going to be cleaning and cooking for real. Like, in yeah. The, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Cleaning and cooking you in that 15, 20%. If they, he's paying more. You clean and cook and you doing all that. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, if I'm taking care man, of yeah. everything. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's, that's true, too. Yeah. Yeah, you barely got to work. You feel me? All you got to do is probably pay, yeah, yeah. pay, pay, pay a little bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fair. All right. That's fair. All right, cool. cool. She like, I don't know, boy. <laughs> she ain't doing it. <laughs> oh. I need the laundry. I need the washing <laughs> phone. I, did, I listened to, I forgot what, what but it was somebody that said um, he, I guess, wants a happy life, happy wife, happy life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he pays somebody to do it, so his wife don't have to do it because. Mm. <laughs> oh, you got me. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, nah. you got the money. Got I, yeah, the money. I ain't gonna lie. I can't even say it because I done, I done thought about that. it. Yeah, I, I, I definitely would. <laughs> she she happy. I would. Now, I mean, now y'all real happy. Like, I won't yeah. even have another kid unless I can get a nanny. <laughs> I said the same thing. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm really about that. Like, yep. okay. I said the same thing. Cause. <laughs> Realistically, like once y'all start doing all the household chores, like that shit start You're getting tired. draining, y'all. That shit start getting draining. <laughs> it's a like, lot. like, hold on, fuck it. Let me let me get that let me get that bill. It's a lot. <laughs> you feel me? So I I, yeah, I, I kind of feel that situation. It's a lot, but it's tough, man. It's very, very tough. Very tough. Yeah. It, this is I, I always say it's it's not a tough it's it's hard for for you guys now dating in this. <laughs> nah, dating. oh, I, I feel like a date. Everybody. It's, See, it's dating hard. is so hard right now because everything is so transactional. Yeah. Everything. I, I won't even say transactional. It's just everything's so influenced. It's like for a woman, it's like, what's up, do for influence. me? Yes. They, they see something on influence. the internet and they be I like, this, that. this is this how is it's what, supposed to be. Yeah. This is how exactly. I want it to be. But not not knowing these shits be skidded out. Like, you feel me? Shit be, be scared. Cap. Cap down. Scripted. Scripted. Make sure you have the push gift. Make sure you have this. Make sure you All have that. that push gift. Push, push, <laughs> push. You really said that? Like, push that's gift. the thing. That's, that's what told me that. I said, what? <laughs> she said, yeah, you can get this because you never got me a push gift. I was like, push gift? What? What's, what's a push gift? No, a push it's gift. It's different now. Then I start hearing it everywhere. I'm this like, what? Crazy. Mm-hmm. I ain't going to lie. I think you mentioned it to me and you had a kid after me. I'm like, oh, what? Yeah. This must, this must be some new shit going on. <laughs> A yeah. push gift? Yeah, that was around that time. I ain't know about no push gift, bro. <laughs> it wasn't around that time. Hell it just no. Ca- it, it just this shit is up. new, bro. This, this shit, shit got to be two, three years. Yeah, about five 20, years 20, old, 20, bro. 2020. Got to be. 2020 shit. Got to be. Push is yeah. crazy. Oh, whatever, Never had no shit like yeah, this. Yeah, it's true, though. It is transactional. Y'all, y'all, yeah. rather, y'all rather have a family with no social media or social media? Because no it, ha- it has its pros and cons. Don't, it don't does get... have its pros and cons. Like, these kids the, are smart as fuck They now. are. They're, they have a lot more. They have access to so much. Now, for me, I always say all the time, social media is a whole job. Like, uh, I'll be like, damn, I ain't posted all week. I, like, it's a, yeah, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, a it job. Do. It do. I would like, if I didn't have to do it, Yeah. I, I literally would learn from it and probably not even have, you know, have an account and not really post. Because it's, it's time consuming and everything has to look perfect. I'm that person. Oh, before I eat, I got to do this. Before, mm-hmm. you know. So Listen, if you, if you don't if, post it, much, but I, I was saying, if you don't, if you don't post, it you, happen, post you post in like series, like three posts at a time, and then that's it for the day. Mm-hmm. Done. For only two, stories. two, three days only later, you ain't posting no more. Yeah. Only post on <laughs> I do stories. I don't post every day. I don't day. post on regular no more. But, but if you if Instagram, you don't post, it didn't happen. That's like, true. You could you can make a right. sale. That's the truth. You can make you can sell five houses. That's the truth. If you ain't posted. It she, right. she ain't got no motion right now. She ain't got nothing going Nowadays, on. You right. Yeah. That's you post true. that thing. Oh, you post all yourselves though, or no? Hmm? Do you post yourself? I don't. You it's don't? so funny. And no? I'm with my with my team and my mentees that I was mentoring, I would say like we had we would have challenges to push each other mm-hmm. posting every day before like and you see like the 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 numbers go up like yeah, yeah, the, yeah, work, course, the yeah, interactions yeah. and everything. But more you post, the job. more that shit go crazy. It, exactly. Algorithm is crazy. But I am. I'm gonna make a. Commitment. I really don't like to do resolutions for New Year's, but I, I think it starts. You finna now. get it done, man. But I think I, I need to. So you want to post every day? Posting every day. Well, December is Vlogmas, so you know you could start by that. 
You do it with me, man. Vlogging every day. Every Vlogging. Day. I started every early. Day. I said I want to get on and start doing lives, but I don't like talking live. Like, Either. <laughs> that shit's so weird to me. It's like, okay, I'm talking to, if you if your following is not up like that, it's yeah. like two, three people. Real and then I'm that person, but sometimes I'll click on them like, shit, by accident, I come off like, then <laughs> damn, he saw that. Was <laughs> 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 so it's like, you're talking and it's just one person. Like, who are you talking to? Like, but that, I do want to. That one person. You got to start somewhere, though. Yeah. That one yeah, I mean, person. Once they start, start seeing you consistently on yeah. that, they go, yeah, man, I be on Why she always on here? Or, yeah. I, or I be on this girl live, or y'all should come on this girl live. Boom, simple. Now they on. Mm. Her, they yeah. friends on your live. Now you done seen one, three, three to seven. Like, But I'm going I'm to I'm 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 commit to that. You on YouTube? I, no, not anymore. Yeah. I was on YouTube for music. You, 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 you ever thought about, like, as far as, like, just vlogging, you feel me? Yes, day day? I did make a page I haven't posted as of yet. So I will be vlogging real estate. Wise. You know, on your That's little drives yeah. to your houses, you can make a little video. I do stories all the time, and I could literally just put the same I'm thing. I'm telling you, that's that that's bag. Yeah. People, that's people that's really want to see it. Then, yeah, like I said, some people be scared to holler at you because they the, feel the intimidation. They're intimidated. Yeah. Okay, maybe I don't got all my stuff together, but if you sit there and be explaining it, like, oh, don't worry about it. You yeah. feel me? That yeah. can make people more comfortable. This is true. That yeah, got me together. <laughs> we gonna start now. 2024 starts now. December vlogging. <laughs> we, we posting a vlog every day. It don't gotta be nothing crazy. Yeah. Little five ten minutes. You feel me? Oh, I'm on the way to work. Oh, I'm on the way to work out. On the way to try this new restaurant. Yeah. Tell you. I know we just about gotta to, get comfortable. I know we about to end this right now, right? But my last question for you, bro. Me? <laughs> how does how does sober shit going? There's no, you know what I'm saying? How does going? How long? How, how many days you in right now? I think I'm on day ten or eleven. Day ten. Yeah. No weed. Man. No weed, no how, liquor. How, how you feeling? I feel regular. That, is it working? It's, I'm almost, I'm almost not feeling high no more. Hmm. But is, is it good? working? Yeah. Is it I for go, a reason, or are you? Fasting? I I quit t- cold turkey just to see, like, so you quit? If I could do it, you quit. I mean, I might taking a break. I, 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 I wanted to not be a chronic Snoop smoker. I like that. So my dog stopped. Let me give you a little history. He stopped smoking because Snoop Dogg came out Cap. and said, "Cap." He said he's not smoking no more. Cap. So everybody following. Him. Oh, yeah. Snoop, Snoop Dogg I'm followed Snoop. me. I want Snoop. He followed me. Nah, and Snoop said he smoked. I did it right before Snoop Dogg. I swear. <laughs> Come on. Bro. I swear, bro. I swear. And I'm the cap one, right? I swear, bro. I did it right before I seen the Snoop Dogg post. I had stopped smoking, and then I see Snoop did. I was like, okay. I ain't I'm, by I'm, myself. I'm on to yeah, you feel me? I ain't by myself. No. Then he capped out. But yeah. I'm still uh, going, you feel me? But that's that's good though. Cause sometimes it's mindset. I keep going back to mindset. Yeah. It's you know, that you can have control. Your mind can have control it, over yeah. you don't want to exactly. have control over you. Cause them first couple yeah. days, that shit was crazy. I'm just looking at like I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm used to rolling like three, four, five joints a day. Yeah. So in like that extra harder. time, I'm like, what do I do? I feel like it's harder for me to go on a social media fast and stop smoking weed. Bro, yeah. bro, you don't yeah, understand. Yeah. Even the motion of just sitting down rolling the joint is very fun. Every time you're on your phone, bro, you're clicking the app. Yeah, clicking the app, clicking the app. It's scrolling, 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 That's scrolling, scrolling. Sometimes you're on the phone for an hour, you don't even know it, bro. Yep, yep. Yeah. That yeah. social media fast is hard, bro. It's I ain't gonna lie. Discipline. When, when you was in Jamaica, did you care about social media like that? Because I'm enjoying life. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when I was over there, I'm going I didn't back. care about none of that, bro. That was the first time I was like... Post, yeah, I wasn't posting. I post my jerk chicken. Hey, <laughs> I'm posting hey, jerk chicken. But that was the first time in life I was like, bro, I don't need social media. Like, I, I love it over here, bro. You ain't got to worry about none of that. So it's like, I don't know, bro. I feel like that's a real Americanized thing. You feel Definitely it is. We, we're in a rat race over here, so you got to not I flex. It's, I think it's worldwide. I think I people mean, watch. I don't like, think so. They watch Chi- yeah, China got bans on they it. Like, you can't even be on TikTok. Shit. Yeah. You could, yeah. You a lot of countries have time limits on social media, though. Got time limits yeah. on Instagram and Twitter. My but that's say how he had, do it. Do it like um, where is it effective? I, I think that is effective yeah, if you have a time effective. for sure. Because sometimes, like you said, you could be an hour you're scrolling. So Point just try to be very exactly post and get off, exactly. interact with you who you need to, and get off. Like, I ain't gonna lie, now that it's a job to actually post, I hate social media, bro. Mm. And I'm I ready tweet. to delete my I, IG. I barely yeah. tweet. No, you can't delete your IG. Exactly. Hmm. You feel me? You got yeah. fans that want to see what you're doing. I don't want it, though, because it's, it's it. toxic. I'm it's back, to- though. Bruh, y'all got fans. You feel me? Our fan base is growing. People want to see what y'all doing, bro. People <laughs> like y'all personally. They don't want to just follow the whole page. They want to see what y'all doing. I ain't going to lie. I be getting new followers randomly when my views be going up, but, like, I want to delete that. They be shit. like, Barry, fly as hell, man. What you got going on today? You feel me? What he, what he, what he dressing like? You feel me? Cold, like, hey, man, what I Cole doing? I have my old page. <laughs> 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 deleted it. I don't know why. Still, I remember. Mm. Yeah, me. But yeah, 
About to get up out of here, man. Appreciate you for coming through with the Fly Stoner podcast. Yes, sir, man. Thank Make you for having me. All right, then. Let them know where to, where to find you. you. Where to <laughs> find you. One more time. Um, I'm trying to buy a house. Yes. Holla at her. Yes. This is live right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I, we actually do have an event. This is for my homeowners on next Saturday. Homeowners okay. So, only? homeowners only. Damn. Yeah, because. You can't go, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, I do have events. You know, stay tuned for upcoming homeowners but for homeowners a lot of homeowners they have equity within their house equity is the amount of money that you have you know that your your, your money has grown your house mm-hmm. is now worth more than it is than you when you initially Perfect. bought it so they don't they just let it sit there but like the bank it doesn't really grow right so what can you do with that equity how can you leverage that take equity? it out buy take another. it out buy another one let's That's flip true. it let's do what you have to do Whatever it is, so come out, um, DM me. My Instagram is just KC, J U S T, the letter KC, just KC. DM me the words financial security, and I will give you all of the information. You know, it's crazy. I actually, I actually have a group of friends who really, we've been talking in the group chat, and they literally been saying that exact same thing. They were like, mm-hmm. yo, we need to take this money out of this house. Yeah. I'm telling Start doing you. stuff. Like at least three <laughs> of them, so I'm finna definitely send them your way. Please do. Got it's, you. it's free. <laughs> it's free. It's free. It is free. It's free. Yeah. Y'all like free? Yes. It's free. 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 Value. Yes. You okay. heard? <laughs> yeah, man. Make sure y'all follow the Instagram, Flystone 305. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Any last thing y'all want to say before we get up out of here? Tap in if you want to win, man. Flystone, we going up. That part. Don't let champ. Co- <laughs> don't let champ copyright us, man. Hey, man. <laughs> 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 All right, man. We gonna holler at y'all next week. We out. Yo, yo, yo.